Huawei and Panis, also participants of this uh, BWF Coach Education Level 3 course that is happening in Holbeck. Panis, uh, currently you are the national coach of the Parabadminton squad in, in Sweden. Uh, how is your, yeah, your first experience here in this course? What are you enjoying the most? Um, I think it's a s very interesting course. I am really enjoying and I like the fact that we are going deeper into the system and the pathways of the players and I think that's going to be a big beneficiary for the future of Sweden's para badminton programs. And uh, Hue Wen, it's not your first, uh, well, first of all, you are coaching also in England in your own badminton club. And it's not your first event that you are coming with us. Sometimes you come as a coach, as a tutor. But how does it feel now when you are uh, switching your hat and now you are like the student taking another role? Well, now I'm not really actively involved at the international level. I'm more um, focused with the junior um, athletes so there's a lot to learn actually from i always think that uh, because i'm not following so much so i wanted to update my knowledge like from time to time and listen listen to you know come to this uh, this events and talk to different people network with the, with dif different people not just learning from the tutors but also from the from the participants here i think it's very beneficial for me mm -hmm. And uh, Panis, uh, we are learning as uh, Hua Wayne say from the tutors, from the from the rest of the coaches, and in your area in para badminton, how do you think that this course can help the development of para badminton? Uh, I think this can help a lot for us because we are since one year back just created an elite program for our para badminton players, and this development is going quickly forward, and I think. Uh, by listening to the participants, how they have been working with the systems in their federations, I think we can be um, that we can create an even more developed uh, program for our players there. Not only the para, but also our elite, which I think is very, very good. And it's it's really nice to hear other people's uh, aspects and point of view when it comes to these two big areas. Mm -hmm. And we have four tutors, uh, four different approaches and perspect perspectives. How do you see? How do you see that here? Like in one course, we have four different tutors and approaches. That's quite. Um, it's quite important to to have different tutors from different uh, cultural background. Um, they see things uh, from different perspectives, so everyone is strong in one area. So I do believe that because um, I have a lot of respect to all the tutors because they are really actively working also in the association or whatever they've done this you know this is not only based on theory also in practical so we do a lot of practice on court that's what i i really like and i do believe after this because a lot of disturbance that that i that makes me think every day um based on own coaching how i can improve okay a lot of things they mentioned in the course it makes a lot of things because a lot of sense it because i've probably subconscious did it i did it in my session but didn't know why i do it mm -hmm. now taking by taking this uh, this course it makes me help me understand much more and in a deeper uh, it's much deeper and um, i love the fact that uh, we get challenged and then push us uh, to our limit that's that's how it is when I was competing. So I was challenged all the time. I love it when the tutor is challenging me, just doing, you know, I've been uh, teaching for so long. I sometimes I don't know if I do everything correctly. So I love it. The fact that they come to point it out could have been better if to do it this way. There's different ways to do it. Um, I hope that after this week and I will be a better coach. Wonderful. And uh, as, uh, as Hua Wei say, she has learned a lot uh, on the way that how to reflect and how to deepen and to think the, the why behind the, our actions. And for you, what uh, has been your the takeaways? And for example, from the from the coaches that are sharing also this course with you, not only the tutors, but also, but also from them, what have you learned from them? Well, we're only in the beginning of the week and uh, we have a few days left, but I think Something that I've learned is, uh, diff for example, when we're doing the different exercises on court and we are thinking about the different parameters in each exercise, I think it's very interesting to see that you can have so many parameters in just one exercise and 
you usually have it, but you don't think about what parameters am I having in these exercises. Um, so I think that's something that is very interesting and I, that I will take away from this course to think about more about the parameters we're using in which steps and how we're using it. I think that is very important. Mm -hmm. And taking it to a more uh, personal level also, um, there are not so many female coaches, unfortunately, especially in the high level in badminton, who are when you are uh, actively coaching, you are also a mom and probably uh, many other roles that I don't, that I'm not aware of. How do you manage to balance out all those, uh, yeah, all those roles that you have? It's been a challenging maybe eight or ten years, eight, nine years for me, and I'm not able to coach um, full time but at the same time i'm trying to follow up with all the news and also try to update my knowledge from time to time it's i'm taking small steps not like someone who has got ambition from here to there in, in two three years but i know um after my career i wanted to become a coach but i know i still you know, for a period of time, my, my, my uh, set of priority changed. So I was more focused on family. Now my daughter becomes a bit older. I do think that it's probably time for me to come back um, to a professional level. Um, it is challenging. It's challenging to juggle between family and work. But I think if you really, you, if you're driven, if you really want it so badly, I think it's still possible to do it. And what can you tell to a female coach that is starting her career or that she's actually working on it and to motivate her and to keep her like retained in the path? It's a difficult one. Um, it depends on because every, every country is a bit different. Uh, my challenge is because I don't have family to help me look after my daughter. But uh, there's always ways. Um, I think for a certain period of time, I will be will stay a bit back you know don't get so much involved but it doesn't mean i stopped learning i still keep learning come to the conferences and all the courses whenever i can or come to the uh, the camps whenever i can i still stay you know in badminton eventually my, i mean my daughter will not will not need me anymore so i will I, I still stay in badminton, I can progress myself. What I want to say to the other woman is the same. In different stages, we, we face different challenges, especially when you have children. Uh, but if you really want to do it so badly, if you have the real power, then you will keep progressing, keep, you know, take small steps, not, not thinking I want to tomorrow after, you know, my, my daughter's born, I wanted to become a national coach. It's very difficult, but you are staying with badminton. You just try to help as much as you can, try to learn as much as you can. I think eventually it's the time for you to come back. Thank you very much, girls. Thank you.